everybody, my name is Mr. Panther Sass, and welcome to the now third episode of Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. Everything's happening! It's like the last two episodes have just had so many twists and turns, and it's awesome. Uh, first of all, now Sam is back. Sam died in the episode previous. He's now back and alive. And he is being used by a Panamanian drug lord to find the treasure we set off 15 years ago to find anyway. So, we are going to find the treasure, and we are going to go for it right now. See anything yet? Just a bunch of high-class, low-life criminals all cleaned up for prom. <laughs> and no sign from Sullivan yet. Well, there's still plenty of time. Looks like the storage room's in the building behind the manor. You see it from up there? Just the very top of it. Oh, I wonder what they got tucked away in there. <laughs> Let's just focus on Avery's cross, okay? No, you sure you don't want to pick up something for the wife? It's cute. Let's keep it simple. Right. Simple. <laughs> It'd be a whole lot simpler if it was just the two of us. Sam. We could be inside already. Not cleanly. Have you even thought about a backup plan in case uh, Sullivan gets cold feet? No, because he won't. Or if he got caught? Sam, he knows the people running the auction. He's gonna schmooze his way right through that party, get upstairs, unlock the window, and we're in. It's a solid plan. Uh-huh. All right, fine. Good, say it. What if he stole the cross for himself? Not in a million years. Victor Sullivan. Same Victor we're talking about, right? Yes, he's double-crossed people in the past, but not us. No, not you. Look, I know you two have never seen eye to eye. Huge understanding. But I trust him, all right? He's family. And, no, 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 no. I just need you to trust him, too. Fine. He'll come through for us. Eventually. But I mean, come on, you have to at least just for one second consider the possibility. There. See? Trust. Just try to keep the ducks clean. I can't believe I'm out. I can't believe I'm here, you know, with you, in Italy, huh? <laughs> yeah, me either. Just wish the circumstances were less tense, you know? Eh, uh, well... You know, the sights are a bit more enjoyable that way. Oh! Uh, so this, this isn't your first time here? No, it's more like, uh, third? Had a couple of odd jobs. With Sullivan? Well, yeah. <laughs> okay. Man, there's no way up under that bridge. Well, there's that exposed beam underneath. Oh, you think you can rope it? Do I think I can rope it? <laughs> Watch this. I'm watching. I, uh... I missed. <laughs> nah, see, it's, uh, it's all in the wrist. Here, let me see it. Ah, see? Yeah, it's not bad. For a second attempt. Here we go. There we go. You see that? Oh, like a pro. It's your turn. Okay, so where to next? Hey, bet we can swing off that beam up there. Uh, definitely. Hey, 
Hey, let's switch places. All right, climb over me. I've, I've got a good grip. Okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> First try. All right, no one likes a show-off. Okay, come on, Nathan. It looks like you can uh, climb down and make your way over. Right behind you. Okay. attraverso un tubo e forse non potrà più camminare. Ah, bene lì sta. Ehi, hey, hai scommesso sulla partita? Inghilterra vince. Inghilterra? Traditore. Ehi, hey, non confondere l'orgoglio nazionale con la realtà. Ok, we're good. Jesus, did you see him? That rented thug was packing some serious heat. Shut up our guns. Sam, we're gonna pull this off so smoothly we won't need them. You're right. <sighs> All those years. It's the little things that you miss the most. Like what? Wow! The smell of fresh citrus. <laughs> uh, riding the motorcycle. It's little things, but they add up. That should hold. All right, come on down. Landing's a little more painful than I remember. <clears throat> yeah, tell me about it. So, uh, your other wonderful finds, uh, the ones I missed, do you at least take any pictures? I wish. Elena filmed some of it, but the camera didn't make it. That's too bad. I have some drawings, though. When we get back, I'll show you. You have drawings? What, are they up on the fridge or something? No, I, they're good drawings. Hey, can't wait. See anything to climb here? Oh no. Oh, I made it. Okay. Woo. This looks promising. I think you mean precarious. Shit! You okay up there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Where am I supposed to go now? Oh. It'd suck if you missed right now. Sure would. But I don't miss.
There you go. Thanks. Uh, Nathan? Nathan? What? Oh, yeah. Okay. You all right? Yeah. How do I look? Like 400 million bucks. Let's go. <laughs> all right, I'm right behind you. Sully? Know what I love about partying with a bunch of crooks? What's that? Nobody cares if you smoke indoors. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. Too long, boy. Oh. <clears throat> you remember my dead brother, right? Victor? I'll be goddamn. Fifteen years. Yep. Good to see you alive, Sam. Mm-hmm. Let's, uh, let's try keeping him alive by getting this cross, huh? Yeah, uh, about that. What, what about that? Come on, let me show you something. Take a look. That's Avery's cross. They brought it out of storage just before you guys got here. They changed the lot order. Take a whole pile of cash to make that happen. Well, how long before they start the bidding? 10, 15 minutes tops. Well, there's got to be some way we can grab it. <laughs> there is just a small matter of a few hundred eyewitnesses okay, down there. Okay, okay, but we just need a diversion. Like? Like, um... Like, I don't know. But there's got to be something. Well, the guards <laughs> see us making for that cross... But they don't see us. Jesus, you guys act like you've never spent time in prison. If you want something dirty done, and you wait for, for lights, lights out. out. Yeah. Where's that electrical panel for this place? There's ventilation. Electrical? That's it up here. So we just have to climb up there and kill the lights. Grab the cross in the dark. There will be an emergency generator. And that'll give us a few seconds of darkness to work with. Meaning we'll have to be right next to the cross when the lights go out. So there's no way we can get that close without being noticed. Scusati, signore. <clears throat> Antipasti? Mosa. Hi. How are you? Ciao. Don't you focus? <laughs> the waiter wouldn't get noticed. That could work. Uh -huh. That will work. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll, I'll get to the breaker room and kill the power. You mean I'm the waiter? You're the best pickpocket. What? You head down to the floor, keep your eye on the prize, okay? Let us know if anything, uh, pinky goes down. Roger that. All right. Listen, we still got this. Ready? Ready. All right. Follow me. We'll cut through the cellar. You gotta say, Victor, the years have been kind to you. Thanks. I chuck it up to go on vegan. Pardon me? Really? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Hell no. Well, I don't know if I'm supposed to be going this way, but I'm, I'm just going to follow Sully and... Wooden crucifix, lot number 1411, estate of Sir Nicholas Trot. 20,000 euros. Cellar's just through there. Let's go. This place is fancy. Of course they play douchey European techno. Yeah, this bounce. Locked. Shit, it was open earlier. 
Now what? Can we pick it? No, it's electronic. We're gonna have to find another way in. You see that? Key card, back left pocket. Yep. I'm on it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You sure you wanna do that? There's a lot of eyes out here. I think I can handle a simple lift. All right. Um. Oh, real smooth. I'm not even trying yet. Yeah, I can tell. Go! <laughs> and he doubted me. Pleasure to watch professionals at work. Okay. All right. Let's try this again. We'll still need these. Great. Good luck. We'll be in touch. Hands in the air. Hi, Victor. Hello, Nadine. <laughs> Pleasure to see you again. Only this time, I've got the drop on you. Well, I guess I should be glad that's not a real gun. <laughs> Hardly recognize you out of your fatigues. Yeah. You know how it is. Every once in a while, a job requires us to get all dolled up. Looking sharp, by the way. Not too bad yourself. Feels so out of place here. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you what a relief it is to run into <clears throat> another English speaker. Even if you are American. They'll have to blame my parents for that one. <laughs> I was on my way to the bar. Can I get you something? Yeah, scotch. On the rocks. I'll be right back. Date? Catch all that? Yes, I did. Sounds like a lady's trying to buy you a drink. Yeah, Nadine Ross is buying me a drink. Ross. Wait, doesn't she own that army for hire? It's called Coastline? Shoreline. Yeah, right. But you had a run in with them. It's putting it mildly. Fortunately, she does not seem to be holding a grudge. I'm good to go here. All right. Listen, we're all set, Sully. You uh, stay out of trouble, okay? I'll try. You ready? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. I gotta find where the waiters and caterers are hanging out. Learn one out of the kitchen, probably. Then let's go find the kitchen. Man, there's enough food down here to feed a small town. This skate wasn't on the blueprint. Unlocked, of course. Okay, plan B. I told you it's locked. Trust, but verify. And it's locked. Right.
some fence up there. Nathan, come check this out. Here we go. Let there be light. Bad electrical in this joint. Don't suppose you brought a... Yeah, that'll do. I guess it's always a good idea to bring a smoker along. Unless you need to run. Oof. Man, I'm starting to get a little drunk off the fumes in here. Oh, good thing Sully's driving. Vent access is behind these casks. That's a lot of really rare vintage. Yeah, maybe Alcazar can just settle for some good wine. <laughs> that's something tells me that's not gonna fly. Victor's chatting up Nadine Ross. I mean, I've heard some pretty scary stories about her crew. Yeah, don't worry about Sully. I can talk his way out of anything. Vents. That's our way out. Yep. Let's find something to climb on. Yeah, I got it. No need to give me a hand or anything. I'm holding a lighter. Hold a lighter. Okay, up we go. Right there. That's smaller than it looked, huh? <laughs> and a lot more dusty. Oh. Shh, shh, shh. Damn it. Cosa portiamo a quell'odioso miliardario tedesco? Quello in quella roba sul naso. Portali. Ah, sciacco tu dei piatti. Sai che questa gente non piace aspettare. Questa gente meriterebbe un calcio nel culo, altro che. Questa gente ti crede facile ammazzare. Dove il diavolo si procurano tutta questa roba? Sono pezzi rubati ai ricettatori. Fresh air, here we come. Hey, check this out. See that building with the radio tower? You mean the cell tower? What? Whatever. Listen, that's the power room. Yeah, you're right. Let's see how we get past this gate. Sam, up here. I'll boost you up. 
All right. All right. Good thing you kept in shape. Sully, we just got out of the wine cellar, heading to the power room now. How's it looking? Sully? You there? Ah, that must be a bad spot for a signal. Hopefully he's doing okay. Bingo. Found the kitchen. And of course it's locked. Sam, look. Maybe we can use that to find a window. Drop into the kitchen. That's a good idea. I'll boost you up and you take care of the ladder. Sera. Ma che sta facendo? Sono civilian, Sam. Oh, he wakes up with a headache in his underwear. We've both been there before, right? <laughs> right. Well, I got mine. You get yours. Right. Okay, let's get to the power room. Sam, you good? Yeah, these pants are just a little bit too tight. Yeah, well, that's the style these days. Really? No, we're in Rome. Nah, because we're in Italy. I get it. All right, I'm gonna head back to the ballroom. Come on, Ed. Sam, you there? Sam? Sully? Great. Guys, if you can hear me, I'm just about at the power room. Should be there soon. Ish. Oh, I don't know. This seems pretty bad, guys. I don't know if I'm going to go this way. I think I'm going to try this way again and see if I just missed something. Nope, this looks like this is the way. There we go. It's better than just jumping straight off like my other plan. taken away for a month. And what about the horse? Fortunately, we had a lot of carrots on board. <laughs> <laughs> Recognize someone? No. I thought I did, but no. But when am I finally going to meet that partner of yours? Drake? Well, that's ex-partner. Yeah, I've been flying solo for a while now. Drake's out. Oh? Like, dead out? Oh, no. More like retired. Mm. Last I heard, he settled down, got married. Mm. Well, then he might as well be dead, right? <laughs> Victor Sullivan! How the hell are you? Rafe. How long has it been? Ten years? Twelve? Fifteen. <laughs> it's amazing. All these years gone by, here we are, we're still haggling over dead people's junk. <laughs> really? 
Aren't you running your parents' business? My business now. But yes, that is my day job. <laughs> that is one hell of a day job. You could probably afford to buy up everything on the block tonight. Well, sure. But what would be the point in that? And these days I'm only looking for the good stuff. Big scores. Any advice on what I should pick up tonight? <laughs> yeah. I think I want to bid against him. <laughs> but, um... <clears throat> Just between you and me, I did notice they changed the order. Hmm. I think somebody might be trying to rig this auction. Hmm. Well, remember where we are. This crowd didn't get rich by playing fair. Which is why you really need someone watching your back in a place like this. Ah. Well, I do hate to break it to you. You are working for an American. With? We've partnered up on this one. I see. <laughs> Talk about a power couple. In a few moments, we'll begin bidding on our next item, an inlaid wooden crucifix from the Trotty State. Well, I know when I'm a third wheel, you two kids have fun tonight. Just hold on, Sully. How'd you find out about it? It? What it is that, Rafe? Nadine, I think your partner here has had too many bloody marriages. Cut the bullshit, old man. I don't know how you scammed your way in here, but if you think about bidding on Avery's Cross, I can tell you exactly how you're going to be leaving in a goddamn Rafe. body. <laughs> well, you get my point. Lovely seeing you both. Nate? Nate? Okay. Power room. I can do this. Uh oh. Ah oh, no! I thought I was supposed to jump for that pole. Maybe look before I leap from now on. Can I not grab onto that? Okay, I can. Oh, oh, hey. Okay. God, why did I pick the power room? No, not that way? Okay, this way. Wait, no. What? There we go.
Here we go. Now, where the hell are the circuit breakers? Ah, oh, crap. Sam, Sully, you there? God damn it, kid. Where the hell have you been? I made it. Had a few close calls, but... Yeah, well, if you're gonna cut the power, now would be a good time. Right, well, I'm gonna need a minute before I can reach the panel. We don't have a minute. Rafe's about to walk out of here with your cross. Wait, what? Rafe? Rafe is here? Yes, Rafe is here, and as of right now, he has the highest bid. Well, I'll bid him. With what? I don't have that kind of scratch. Sully, we're stealing, remember? What if he calls my bluff? <sighs> he won't. We have 90,000. Do I hear any more bids? Guys, if we do not get this cross, I am as good as dead. Yeah. Well, I end up with the highest bid, we're all dead. Sully, I need you to buy me more time. Since we have no other bids. Trust me. Going once, going twice. Screw it. Then we have 100,000 euros in the room. Thank you. Do we have any other bids? We now have 110,000 euros in the room. For a penny and for a pound. That bid brings Don't us worry. to 120. We'll be out of there in no time. I better be. Okay. Just gotta smash the lock. But now with what? 130,000. <sighs> nope. We are now at 140. Nothing. Damn it. Your bid, Signore, takes us all the way to 150,000 euros. It's gotta be something. Come on. Come on, uh, start the sweat bullets. Here. Yeah, give me a second. Signore's bid makes 170,000. Yes. Boys, I'm at the switch. You ready? As I'll ever be, Victor. Just a sec. The gentleman's bid, 200,000 euros. 500,000. Let's get the show on the road here. Uh, thank you. We have 500,000 euros in the room. Does the gentleman wish to bid again? <laughs> Had me worried there for a minute, Victor. Thought I might have to kill you. <laughs> okay, let's ruin this asshole's evening. Anyone else? We are going once. Going twice? Then I shall sell it for 500,000. And ladies and gentlemen, please remain calm. The back of power will come on shortly. It's gone. Move it! Get out of the way! Stop him! Hey, stop that guy! Fermo. What are you doing? You're letting him get away! You speak Spanish. What? Sam, tell me you got the cross. I got St. Dismas right here. You want to say hi? Yeah, we really kicked the hornet's nest down here. Ballroom's locked down, security scrambling. Hey, Victor, where's our getaway? Come to the driveway out front. Just follow the spotlights. I'll bring the car around.
All right, guys, I'm kind of like a, a bit of a pickle right now. Not really sure where to go. Uh, don't know why that killed me, but okay. Here we go, boys. These guys are everywhere. C'è qualcosa laggiù? Cos'è stato? Ho trovato qualcosa? Fatto allarme. Okay, maybe we should have brought guns. Do I go this way? I don't even know where I'm supposed to be going. Okay, spotlight. Is that a dude with a flashlight just staring? Oh, no, it's not. It's just a, a random light. ground to get my bearings. All right, see you soon. Yeah. the ballroom. Driveway's right in front. Man. Okay. Everything's fine. No one got a good look at me. Just gonna play cool. Stroll right on out of here. Oh. Scusi. You're not supposed to be back here. Well, neither are you. But I'll tell you what, I won't tell anyone if you don't. You have something I want, and you're going to give it to me. Really? Well, I'm flattered, but I'm afraid I'm spoken for. Oh, if you'll excuse me. I'm not in the mood for games. Give me the crucifix. Lady, you're lucky I'm a gentleman. Because if I weren't... You'd want. <coughs> All right, fine. <clears throat> Just remember, I didn't want to do this. Let's see what you've got. <clears throat> Don't telegraph so much. <clears throat> nice try. That's not nice. Uh, I just want to roll away. Come here. Now hand 
Send me the artifact. Do you know how many artifacts I've collected over the years? You're gonna need to be more specific. Let me see if I can clarify! I look. I'm still a little jet lag. How about we just call it even? <laughs> oh, son of a... Have you had enough? Or do you want to keep being a smart ass? Well, you know, being a smart ass has gotten me this far in life. Why quit now? <laughs> Alright, wait, wait. It's in my back pocket. Where is it? Right there! All right, I'm at the car. Where the hell are you guys? Uh, I just met your friend, Nadine Ross. She's lovely. Yeah, it was total chaos out here. They're trying to keep it contained, but everybody's freaking out. I don't want to rush you, but hurry the hell up. Nathan, where you at? Good question. You? By the ballroom. Look for this round sign thing. It's on the way. Round sign thing. Check. Good news is I got a gun. See you soon. in there <laughs> I can't get to you from here you got a way down yeah yeah I think so okay I'll meet you at the driveway just head towards the ballroom all right see you there Victor I'm kind of stuck here any ideas the fastest way is through the ballroom you said the ballroom's locked out yeah well now that they know it's you guys they cleared the place out that ballroom it is you get that Nathan yeah, got it. All right, whatever. Going for it. How's that, huh? How? Oh, 
Okay. Best way down is this way. Okay. Almost to the bar room. Nathan, I'm pinned down in here. I can use a hand. On my way, Sam. Oh no, how do I, what am I doing? This way. What am I doing? Oh good. Take cover! Take cover! Oh no! Whoa, he has a grenade! Oh, and I am out of bullets. I'm going to take a second. Go. There we go. Oh, is that wire where I need to go?
Whew. Okay, so now that... <laughs> I'm going to pause this episode right here, guys. Now that my heart is no longer just completely pounding, that was so much more intense than the, any of the other games have really ever been, and as far as gunfights go, um, that was amazing. Kind of a, kind of a strange uh, similarity there, something I thought was unique, was it kind of felt like Splinter Cell with the stealth idea along with uh, the gun combat and the way that the new Splinter Cells have been. Anyway, uh, I could go on and on about how how intense that was, but you guys saw it for yourself right here. So thank you so much. Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys in the next video.